Welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about sweet picking and how you can incorporate it in your own playing today. So this is the first pattern you're going to ever want to learn that's associated with sweet picking because it's only across two strings and it introduces you to a new sweeping motion which is just down, down, up. So I'll take you through it. So on the B string, 17th fret, high E string, 15th fret, and 19th fret on the high E. So all you're really going to be doing is down, down, up. So this is where you're going to really get used to this uh, down, down, up motion. So the upstrokes are what makes it really important. So I'm going to show it to you really slowly. which is really important to get that upstroke, like I said earlier, because that's what makes it loop and repeat in a really simple manner. So the really important thing about using this sweeping technique on two strings is when you go to the next string, so the string cross, you're not gonna want this to really bleed together. Because that sounds more like a chord to me, so uh, yeah, you're not really going to want to do that. So you're going to really just try to remove the middle finger first before you go to the next string. So you're going to go, instead of going, you're going to go. So that way you can keep it nice and clean. Moving on to three string arpeggios, this is where it gets really fun. Now all we gotta do to extend our arpeggio is add the G string, which is the 16th fret right here. So we had two strings, right? Now we can add the G string. So that literally takes a two string arpeggio into a three string arpeggio just by adding one extra note. Really cool, huh? Now to add a four string arpeggio, I'm assuming you know now. Just one extra note. So let's try it. So the basic technique to this is just downstroke, 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 upstroke, pull off, up, up, up. So that's the basic technique to this. Moving on to five string arpeggios. And you guessed it, it's only literally one extra note. We'll try it. Now all you gotta do is literally just put your pinky on the 19th fret A string right here and do the same exact thing as you did on the uh, four string arpeggio. So this is all you gotta do. You can do hammer-ons from nowhere if you want, but uh, I personally just like to do uh, picking. Right, moving on to six string arpeggios. Now that really sounds difficult now, doesn't it? But it's actually not. You can do a six string arpeggio literally by learning nothing new from what we just did in this video. So look at, since we're in E minor, this is an E minor triad, all you gotta do is add an open E string. So check this out. So you literally just learned how to play a six string arpeggio just from a two string arpeggio by adding one note to each position. So it's really simple to learn sweet pickings. So here's an overview of today's lesson, two string arpeggios. Which is just down, down, up. Down, down, up. Now to add a three string arpeggio, all you gotta do is add the G string. Same thing with four string arpeggios. And you guessed it, five string arpeggios. And you probably guessed it again, but six string arpeggios, but now with an open string. See there, you can actually extend it right there. So here's another cool little trick you can do. If you like drop detuning like everyone does, you can do the same exact thing, but with a D minor arpeggio. So check it out. So 
See, all you literally had to do was just tune that down to drop D and you can do the same exact thing. Thanks to everyone who watched and stay tuned to the end and uh, I guess stay tuned for more content. Subscribe, share, like the videos, all that good stuff and I'll be back for more videos. Peace!